a summary of all English tenses for ESL teachers and learners. The tense system of English is probably one of the most daunting areas for many speakers of other languages. Multiple tenses should be taught through explaining strict grammar rules while allowing the students to practice proper structure, as well as evaluating themselves with quizzes and examples. There are three different tenses in English, the past, the present and the future. Each of these tenses has four aspects, simple, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. 1. The past tenses. The past tense expresses or indicates a time that is in the past. For instance, if we want to say that an event occurred or something was the case at a particular time in the past, we use the past simple tense which is the one we use most often. 1. Simple past tense. Structure, verb plus ed or irregular verb. Example, it rained yesterday. 2. Past continuous tense. Structure, was, were plus present participle. Example, we were not listening. 3. Past perfect tense. Structure, had plus past participle. Example, he had completed his project. 4. Past perfect continuous tense. Structure, had plus been plus past participle example, I had been eating my dinner for 20 minutes. 2. The present tenses. It is the situation when we are talking an existing state of events. We use a verb that is the present tense. 1. Simple present tense. Structure, base verb, plus s, as for third party. Example, I read a book every night. 2. Present continuous tense. Structure, is slash am slash are plus present participle. Example, he is sitting in a chair. 3. Present perfect tense. Structure, has, have plus past participle example, I have finished my report. 4. Present perfect continuous tense. Structure, has, have plus been plus present participle example. I have been studying at this school since 2013. 3. The future tense. This describes an action that will take place at some future time. For example, if we want to say something that is planned to happen, or we think it is likely to happen in the future, then we use the future tense. 1. Simple future tense. Structure, will plus verb example. He will complete his summative task tomorrow. 2. Feature continuous tense. Structure, will be plus present participle m slash is slash are plus going to be plus present participle example, I will be watching the movie at 7 p.m. 3. Future perfect tense. Structure, will have plus past participle m slash is slash are plus going to have plus past participle example. She will have completed the English course by the end of this year. 4. Future perfect continuous tense. Structure, will have been plus present participle m slash is slash are plus going to have been plus present participle example, by next Sunday, I will have been studying grammar for two weeks. In summary, English grammar of multiple tenses can be hard to learn for lots of non-native English speakers. Many complex rules and exceptions make the language difficult to master. However, teaching multiple tenses can help students to learn English language from the basis. Three main types of tenses are explained above with examples and basic structures. Learn how to teach tenses effectively with a TEFL course today. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an IDTT advisor today.